Okay. So after a lot of consideration, I think I might have an idea of who I'll need for this. be good. <clears throat> Alright, here, so here's what I'm thinking for my team. We are going to have Zap Zap definitely be in here. It'll be valuable. We will have Percy. <clears throat> okay, let me just confirm. So, for the first gym, not first gym, first Elite Four, it's going to be Psychic. However, most of those Psychic types have either Water or Flying, because it's Zatu and I believe Slow King. The other is Execute and Jinx which I can handle and so that first Elite Four member can be handled by Zap Zap with slight assistance if needed from either Cinder or Percy. The second Elite Four which is the I think that one's the poison. The second, yeah, the second elite for Koga is poison. That can be soloed by King because King is poison ground, and because he is poison ground, King will have absolutely no effect poison will not no effect that like electric will have no effect but poison is like a fourth not even a half it's a fourth because poison against poison is not effective but then it's poison against ground is not effective so that's halfway even then and the biggest obstacle was his bug typing because he's Koga has poison and bug but Kings also have affected by bug, and the only other issue is steel, which he does still have his fighting type move for. He has rock smash. Rock smash isn't great, but it's still something. Not only that, but by level, hopefully by then. I'll be able to teach him a better move. I can teach him focus punch right now, but that's not that's not great. I can teach him brick break in the future. I can teach him focus blast, or I can use the move tutor to teach him superpower. Which is more of a last stitch thing. Because that's gonna lower my attack and defense. But if need be, it'll be there. <clears throat> so there's that option and I think focus now that I think about it focus punch is the one that you have to uh, wait until the end of the turn to do focus blast is just a special move you can actually do that so actually i think i can teach him focus blast because his special attack is actually higher than his physical right now so that might actually be better than super power which is good 
Uh, I wish I could teach him Mega Horn, but he doesn't learn that until 58, but that's fine. He will finally learn a fucking ground type move at level 43, which is Earth Power. Uh, so, two more levels to go. I won't have to use Earthquake when I find it. <sighs> and, yeah. So, he'll be immune to the poison there. Well, not immune, but he'll be, like, not damaged at all by the poison. He won't get damaged by the bug. I'm sure they'll have some ground type stuff to throw at him or something, but he can tank that because he's got good defense and good special defense. I know ground's two times effective against him, but I doubt any of these Pokemon besides maybe either Muck or Fortress is going to have a ground type attack. Fortress will get hit by that Steel, or not Steel, by the, um, what's it called? The Fighting type move. I think the Bug and Steel will like counteract so it's just neutral damage, so that'll be best for me. What I might, and because it's a Focus Blast, if I choose, I'm probably going to choose Focus Blast, but because it's Focus Blast, it'll be Special Attack, and Fortress has incredibly high defense, but mediocre or average Special Defense. So that I actually, like, pretty much permeate through. The only other option is if I feel threatened. If I feel threatened, I'll quick switch before I get to Fortress and switch out into... Uh, switch out into Cinder. The reason I would do that is because just in case, because he's most likely going to have Earthquake. It's an Elite Four, they're going to teach him TMs. So he might have Earthquake. So I don't want Cinder to be out for that Earthquake. Most definitely because Nido King or King is going to get hurt by Earthquake. So it's going to definitely proc that if he has it. Again, I could look up their move sets but I don't like part of my strategy is that I need to account for pretty much everything so at least that's how I feel in this log in the second part when I go into Kanto I'm definitely gonna look up everybody's move sets because I, at that point I'm just like doing a whole second game within one it's new game plus and you know what new game plus has so much more to lose because by that time I'm like in the I'm past level 50, so grinding anyone up to level 50 is going to be hell. So I'm definitely going to look up people's moves and people's attack patterns. That's like, I'm just, that's not going to be apologetic. I'm going to fucking do my research to make sure I don't fucking die. But yes, Nino King, going to be crucial for the poison type for Koga. And next, after Koga was Bruno, the fighting type. Now, I have a few options for that. I have Crow with Poison Flying. Flying already negated most of the, f the fighting damage, but Poison and Flying is going to make that fighting damage pretty much abysmal. The only issue I'm running going to run into is Onyx who will be rock ground and by that time he's had plenty of time to learn or get a TM for any rock moves and that'll be dangerous for Crow. So if he chooses Onyx, I'm gonna have to switch him out to Percy and hope whatever rock type move it does does not kill. But that's gonna be, that's at least my strategy right now. <laughs> And if I don't feel comfortable with Crow, because I have a I have an option for that fighting type gem is either Crow or it's gonna be Hercules. Because Hercules, obviously bug fighting. Fighting used to be effective against each other, they kinda got rid of that. But bug type is not affected or not as doesn't take a lot of damage from fighting. Fighting is not effective against bug. So I got a clear shot there. I also got a bug type move. So that's going to be easy. The major thing is that ground and rock type moves 
are negated. They're not super effective because the fighting type removes that super effectiveness. So I'm going to be fighting that Onyx on just equal ground, and I'm definitely going to be faster than that Onyx. So all I got to do is proc the close combat, and that fucking Onyx is done. And then all of a sudden, it's that Machamp, which I can handle. Even if somehow we die, I got that. We're fine. So I'm most likely going to just keep Hercules in for that and just not worry about it. Uh, Cinder, obvious choice because I need a fire type for versatility. I'm probably going to give him Earthquake. I'm not even going to lie. I'm probably going to give him Earthquake. Why would that matter? Because there is either Earthquake or some sort of rock move. And I can teach him either one. But the reason I'm doing that is because there is a... There's two dark types, the Charizard with Lance and a Houndoom with Karen, which is a dark type trainer, which I was about to get into. So we'll either have a battle for Trishan with Fire, or her Houndoom could learn Earthquake, just as Cinder can learn Earthquake. And since he's had Quick Claw, and most definitely is going to be faster because I've already put so many speed EVs into him, I'm probably going to be faster than that Houndoom. And I'm most certainly going to definitely have more power behind an earthquake than he would so that's my plan on that and if I see by some miracle it's faster I will definitely switch to Percy maybe I don't even take the risk and maybe I just have Percy come out as soon as that helm dooms out but we'll see we'll see and Like I said, Percy is definitely going to be there because we will need a flying type and we'll also definitely, definitely need ice type moves. Ice Fang and Ice Beam are going to be crucial for Lance. Zap Zap will also pick up if Percy has to, you know, sit on the sidelines because Zap Zap is going to be super effective against pretty much everyone there. Actually, I think everyone there. He has an Aerodactyl, which surprised me, to be honest. I didn't think he would have that. But even still, Aerodactyl is still super affected by Electric. So everyone in Lance's team is going to be super, or taking super effective hits from Thunderbolts. Gyarados especially. Like, his Gyarados is just done. I don't care what his defense is. His Gyarados is going to be done. So, that's five, right? And I have one other Pokemon. If I don't want, like, if I don't feel comfortable having Crow, I have one other Pokemon I can put in there. And I think I know what Pokemon I want. Problem is getting it. Because I don't know exactly how to get it. Or at least I think I do, but I'm not... 100% sir. So, first off, let me actually heal because I didn't actually heal all this time. I thought my mic was muted. And I was about to. <laughs> I thought I did that entire explanation muted. Okay. Okay. I'll keep going into my pack. I keep doing that. Okay. Okay. Maybe I need to make space. Hold on. Maybe that, because I could have sworn I talked to him already, but maybe I just needed to make space in my uh, party. Maybe that was the problem. So, hold on. We are going to put, just for a little bit, can just, just go in there. Maybe that was the problem. I don't know. We'll see. I think this is his house right here.
beautiful. All right. Yes. Uh, what is his name? Uh, also, it's a male. Okay. Figured that. Most EVs are high majority male, so. Um. I mean, I was gonna name my Onyx this if I caught an Onyx. But since I didn't catch an Onyx. Okay, what level are you? Level five. Ah, god damn. Oh, that's gonna be okay. Okay, that's that's fine though. That's fine though. You know why that's fine? Because we just guaranteed that we're gonna be able to sweep that psychic type gym. That first, not gym, the psychic type elite four member. We have just guaranteed that we're going to be able to sweep that. Because now we have a full dark type. I didn't have any f dark types. And most dark types I can think of in this generation were like dual types for dark. Umbreon is one of the easiest to obtain dark types, especially in a Nuzlocke. And because it's an Eevee, I can basically start from scratch. I had to figure out where I could get an Eevee and I either had to wait until Kanto or I had to talk to Bill. And I didn't remember what Bill was, so I had to find him. And apparently, it uh, he was in here the whole time. And I thought I talked to him, apparently never did. So, that's fine. But, Umbreon, Umbreon is the best dark type for me to have for this because he will have the best defense and the best special defense so whatever those fucking psychic types try to throw at me if it's a psychic type move it's not gonna work but anything else it'll fucking be pennies to this man this man is only affected by bug fighting and fairy everything else is just neutral damage which means that defense and special defense is gonna soak that shit up his attack special attack kind of hurt and I'll work on that I'll EV train especially for that but this man this little this little bundle of joy right here He's gonna make sure I sweep that psychic type team. And he's also gonna make sure that I can do very good against that dark type team. Because that dark type team does not have any dark bugs. I mean, why would it? But it doesn't have any dark bugs. So I'm definitely gonna be able to sweep through that. Not dark type team. What am I talking about? Uh, no, yeah, dark type team. That's Karen. So that dark type team is definitely going to be able to sweep through that. And heck, he even has a ghost type. I didn't even think about that. Gengar. Going to be nothing. Going to be nothing. Alright. So, now, I have exactly what I need. So now, it's just grinding and preparation. Everybody's going to get up to 50 at least. I'm going to get everybody the best moves I can to make sure this is going to be a clean sweep. Gabriel, my baby, you're gonna have to sit this out. I'm sorry, but your safety is gonna be paramount because I am not gonna lose you uh, trying to put you into the team. Like, I'm not, like I'm not even gonna lie to myself. I definitely want him to uh, be in my team when I complete the championship, but I could always re-challenge them. He needs a Tokikiss. 
because right now he's just he, he's in too much danger I'm not putting him in that danger okay uh, most of what I need for flying I have countered uh, let's see yeah so I know Percy doesn't really have any flying type moves. Ironically, Heracross, or Hercules, has Aerial Ace still, which is funny. So if I really need a flying type move, I guess I can go back to that. But, yeah. We have Bug Fighting, we have Ice type moves, Water type if necessary, Fire type if necessary. Potentially gonna have Earthquake. Got Electric. We got poison, and we're gonna have dark. We're gonna have what we need to take on this Elite Four and the champion. But it's gonna take a lot of grinding, a lot of EV training. And because I'm streaming, or excuse me, <laughs> because I'm not streaming, let me correct myself, because I'm not streaming, I'm not gonna subject you to that. Because honestly, I don't have the time to do it all right now. And I don't know when I'm going to get to actually doing it. It's probably going to be spread out between days. In fact, uh, speaking of days, I think I fucking... I think I fucked up. Yeah, I definitely fucked up. Because this was supposed to be a full orange berry plant. And I, uh... I waited too long today to come back to this. And look at my berries. So yeah, my orange berry plant has uh went back to a sprout. So I fucked that up. But yeah, um, it's gonna definitely take days because of my schedule. So like I've been doing, I'm going to maybe maybe I'm going to record some of it because I can't just not record because if something happens I have to be ready to record so I'm gonna have my software up so in case something happens hopefully nothing happens but in case something happens uh, I'll be ready to record and explain but I have my team or rather I have the foundation for my team and gonna make that work we're gonna make that work okay all right I gotta research a bunch of stuff uh, I gotta see about Gus who gives the best EVs uh, I still gotta EV train everybody else like I'm not gonna just focus on EV. I gotta EV train everyone else too to make sure they're ready. And then I gotta make sure they get the right moves. So I gotta make sure I have the stuff for the move tutor. I think they take the shards in Gen 4. So I'm gonna have to figure out how I'm supposed to find those. I completely forgot how I'm supposed to find those. I hope I can just use a rod because if I can't use a good rod and I have to use like a super rod or dive or something, uh, I'm kinda out of luck. So, yeah, we'll have to, I'll check all that. I'll check all that, and the next time you see me, I will be ready to take on the Elite Four. And also my rival, because I'm pretty sure he's going to fucking try to challenge me just before I go into the Elite Four, like most rivals do. So, yeah, until then, we'll be grinding. Oh, fuck, you're level 5. Oh, yeah. We'll be grinding. See you later.
honest to God upset. Um, I don't know how it happened, but my recording stopped. Just as my boy Onyx evolved. Like, Black Fluff. Oh, interesting. Like, I, I didn't even pause it. Like, I just got my, I got my mic ready because I saw he was evolving after he hit 35. And I was like, oh shit, cool. So I was like, oh, I want to come on the mic and just say, you know, how awesome that is, right? And then, uh, I'm talking about my plans because I'm thinking he gets faint attack at 36 and with stab damage the faint attack is gonna do more than headbutt and I mean heck bite does more than headbutt right now and that already causes flinching may cause flinching may cause flinching so uh, I'm gonna replace headbutt with faint attack I'm thinking of keep, keeping in quick attack and replacing tail with a shadow ball I should still have that TM I wish you could use shadow claw but I mean Honestly, he's already, he's still a special attacker, so it doesn't matter. But yeah, um, I don't know why my recording stopped. I guess I must have hit the end button by mistake somehow. I don't know how. But yeah, uh, I guess so. Uh, what do you have? Does anyone have the sunglasses? No one should have the sunglasses. Let's give Onyx those, uh, well, they're not sunglasses, excuse me, they're black glasses, excuse me. Let's go ahead and give him those. Give Gabriel back the suit bill. Okay. And yeah. Actually, something up there. This boy got me intrigued. Hmm. Huh. I guess I'll go check that out. Uh. Can I get to the top of that? I don't even know if I can get to the top of that, actually. Maybe, wait, maybe I can use the. That's new, that's never happened. So maybe if I use this. I didn't mean to. I have no idea what he saw. Hmm. I guess I'll come back to that. But yeah, anyway, just wanted to jump in because apparently I stopped recording. Don't know why. But alright. Let's get back to grinding slash EV training.